So I'm here at the city park. Stopped in to uh, take a break, enjoy the sun. Because it's honestly, this is a pretty nice park by all measures in my opinion. And I noticed something here that some of you guys might recognize. And it's a, a fig tree, right? Quite a few of them actually growing here. And I'm wondering how they got here because it doesn't really seem like the kind of thing the city would do. And even if they did do it, I'm pretty sure they'd be bragging about it or something. So there's there's a grove of figs here that I've just never seen before. And they're relatively recent. You can see the oldest ones back in here. Must only be a couple years old. They grow pretty rapidly, maybe three or four, five years old max. And uh, somebody must have uh, propagated them in here. There's just, there's quite a few. They're spreading around. So, uh, a little gorilla gardening at the park, it looks like somebody might have been doing. Looks like we got some more gorilla gardeners around here growing food. And uh, I'm coming back later because I don't, I don't think these are ripe yet. But look at that. Oh my gosh, it might be ripe, you guys. It feels, it feels pretty freaking good. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I don't know, maybe it's not right. What's going on here? Look at that. Here, let's, let's take a closer look. All right, so it looks like I picked that one too ripe. It's not, it's not, it doesn't smell good. It's not ready yet, but that's a fig. Shows how little I really know about harvesting or growing figs, but I do think they are delicious. So I'm very happy to see this bad boy here and see how well it's doing. It gives me hope. And I'm probably gonna come and get some of my own babies off of it here this fall because it looks like it's a it'd be happy to to spread and yeah we got even more nice little figs growing here and there they seem to be liking this side of the plant there's a guy right there anyway now this is not what I want to show you guys originally I do this as a random spotting let's go check out the uh what i really wanted to see some of you may also recognize this bad boy these are yuccas and uh they're a tremendously useful plant for like a million reasons but right about now and as they bloom further these uh, flowers are extremely edible and tasty so are the seeds we'll be taking a look at those later and uh the fibers have a million uses. You make clothing and sandals and rope and whatever. Although, I would add, I stabbed myself in the eye with one of these. And uh, these tips of these are used as needles, in fact, for sewing. And um, it, it gave me some eye problems for a while. It was pretty, pretty intense stabbing into my eye. So, wear, wear goggles and even gloves. Maybe this stuff is a little sharp if you're going to work work with it you know but otherwise the leaves super tender and fragrant especially great with eggs make an omelet mm. they have more flavor i'm noticing when they're fully bloomed but uh maybe i can find some that are bloomed more i thought these i've been, I've been keeping an eye on these and i thought they might have been bloomed more but they're younger plants we have a few more over here at the park mm. and uh they're very tough they actually prefer arid environments. This is about as far north in their general range that they'll go. They're not really native here, but they're native to other parts of Oregon and the southwest. Uh, not an invasive kind of issue because they actually don't propagate by seed well here. And uh, a lot of critters really like eating them, so they, they don't really spread, but very slowly from their roots. But uh, yucca is definitely one of my favorite, favorite plants because has so many different uses that you can read about and practice as well as being quite edible and while we're here i might as well mention the oregon grape again because it's a little bit slept on not a lot of people really take advantage of it as much as they probably could i think people think it's uh, inedible because of uh you know just not wanting to eat random berries they find but these are these are tasty look at that huge seed though so that's the thing very small amount of flesh, very large amount of seed, but they're uh, they're delicious. Sour, 
fruity. Mm. 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 <laughs> Those seeds, man. They're still needed a little bit, a little bit further, but they're always sour. But um, they get more fruity flavor towards the end there. And you can see we're starting to get them pretty ripe and looking good. So uh, that's a little bit of that. Now, where can I find us some yucca? Oh wait, what is that? It's a pretty bush. These are pretty flowers. I'll have to make another yucca video because I, I need to harvest some of these uh, flowers. I'm gonna cook because uh, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, look at that. Evergreen huckleberry. Oh, I wonder if that means we'll get any huckleberries around here. I'm not seeing any blooms. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Can you guys see that in there? It's moving around a lot. Those are little fruits. It's a huckleberry. It's basically, you know, like a blueberry. Same family. Same relation. Oh, here's some more down there. Evergreen huckleberries are pretty dang good. That's a, that's one I cherish, especially here. It's a little drier here. We don't see them quite as often, but uh, the city definitely planted this. So good on them, appreciate that. Anyway, hope you guys get out. Enjoy your parks and your nature, and uh, appreciate some of your plants you got laying around, native or non-native. And uh, keep your eye out for gorilla gardening, because uh, apparently we got people gorilla gardening around here, planting us some fig trees to eat off of, and I'm excited for that. I'd like to support that any way I can. Look at that, look at that massive grove of figs growing underneath that tree. Amazing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe, like the video, give me a comment. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. It's my favorite part about having a YouTube channel. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, I don't know what your plans are for your environment. Somebody had plans for this environment. They needed figs. So have a good one. See you guys.